So brothers and sisters, welcome all of you to join us, the Way of the Cross on Good Friday from our Lady of Mount Carmel Church. It is a time of grace, a time for us to accompany Jesus, to go through his uh, passion station by station so that will be able to receive his grace more. So let us begin with a little prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, you are so generous to give us your only begotten Son to die for us, to pay all the deaths for us. Today, we celebrate his passion. Today is a good day, a good Friday for all of us. This is a wonderful opportunity for us to be able to accompany Jesus to go through his passion. And may we through these ways of the cross, be able to pick up just a little part, a little grace, whatever it is, that will heal our wounds and our sickness. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. First station, Jesus eats the Last Supper with his apostles. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Then Jesus took a loaf of bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is a new covenant in my blood.
Lord Jesus Christ, we worship you living among us in the sacrament of your body and blood. With you and in you, may we offer it to our Father in heaven a solemn pledge of undivided love. Strengthened by your body and blood, may we offer it to our brothers and sisters a life poured out in loving service of that kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us. It's the cross I be chill keeping to the mournful mother weeping while her Jesus hung above. Second station, Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives. And the disciples followed him. He withdrew from them about a stone's throw, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. When he got up from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping because of grief. And he said to them, why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Lord, teach us to pray. Comfort us in times of sadness and help us overcome the fears and anxieties we feel because of the present trials confronting the whole humanity. May we learn from you the meaning of the total surrender to the will of the Father, He who desires our salvation and not our destruction. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Through her heart his sorrow shall ring All his bitter anguish bearing Rend the sort of suffering love Third station, Jesus is brought before the Sanhedrin. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When they came, the council of elders of the people met, both chief priests and scribes, and they brought Jesus before their Sanhedrin. They said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. But he replied to them, If I tell you, you will not believe. And if I question you, you will not respond. But from this time on, 
the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. They all asked, Are you then the Son of God? He replied to them, You say that I am. Then they said, What further need have we for testimony? We have heard it from his own mouth. Lord, when we have the opportunity to give witness to you, allow us to show genuine evidence of our truly Christian lifestyle. Teach us to follow the example you gave us, that our faith, hope, and charity may turn hatred to love, conflict to peace, death to eternal life. Grant us the strength and courage to rise up to this challenge, Lord. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. O war, sadness, and affliction, Dressed a child of benediction, Mother of the Holy One. Fourth station. Jesus is brought before Pilate. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Then the whole assembly of them arose and brought Jesus before Pilate. They brought charges against him saying, we found this man misleading our people. He opposes the payment of taxes to Caesar and maintains that he is the Messiah, the king. Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, you say so. Pilate then addressed the chief priests and the crowds. I find this man not guilty. Lord, let us see you in every person we meet so that we may not give way to the injustice of prejudice. Teach us compassion for the innocent and oppressed, the marginalized and the vulnerable members of our society. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. He who bends in lamentation saw the bitter desolation of her well-beloved son. Fifth Station Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged. And the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head and clothed him in a purple cloak. 
And they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck him repeatedly. Lord, when we feel humiliated and powerless, give us the strength to suffer in silence like you and grant your grace of conversion to to those who perpetrate violence and injustice in our world today have mercy on us O lord have mercy on us Who are moved to cursy her language? See those tears of bitter anguish streaming down her tender cheek. Sixth station Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. It was preparation day for Passover, and it was about noon. And Pilate said to the Jews, Behold your king. They cried out, Take him away, take him away, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Lord, we are all burdened with crosses, small and great. Crosses brought about by nature's upheaval. Hunger, poverty, war, and now also the global COVID pandemic. Lord, help us to recognize the crosses others carry and help us to accept the crosses in our life with patience and love as you did yours. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. For her child she saw dejected, for his people's sins rejected. And with bloody scourges rent. Seventh station. Jesus is helped by Simon. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they led him away, they took hold of a certain Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country. And after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. Lord, we are reluctant to attend to other people's problems when we have enough of our own. Yet there are things that we can do that could help them without adding to our own problems. 
Lord, help us to be generous enough to share in other people's troubles and together with them find the right solution. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Mon mother, let me borrow some of that most bitter sorrow which for Jesus you did feel. Eighth station jesus speaks to the women we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world a large crowd of people follow jesus including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed, the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breast that never nursed. At the time, people will say to the mountains, fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Lord, when we reflect on the millions who are facing death because of human injustice producing violence, war, starvation, and disease, we should also weep. But Lord, help us not simply to weep over other people's suffering, but also to do whatever we can to relive it. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Let my heart kneel forever gaining more devoted love attending. May to his pure heart appeal. Ninth station, Jesus is stripped and nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four shares, a share for each soldier. They also took his tunic, but the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top down. So they said to one another, let's not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it will be, in order that the passage of scripture might be fulfilled. They divided my garments among them, and for my vesture, they cast lots.
Today, Lord, this suffering continues. Poor people are stripped of the little they have, while the wealthy accumulate more wealth. Lord, strip us of our selfishness, pride, and attachment to things that are not pleasing to you. Keep us from nailing people to crosses by our unjust words and actions, by our prejudices and denigrating attitudes. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Mother, share with me your sorrow. Let me of his torments borrow. Prince them on my sinful heart. And station Jesus speaks to the thief we adore you O Christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world Now, one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly. For the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Truly, Lord, your forgiveness is always offered today to those who repent sincerely. Help us to see and to acknowledge our sins honestly. Like the good thief, we repent of our sins and ask you to take us with you to paradise. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Since he wished to save me dying, wounded in the crucifying, in his suffering give me part. Eleven station. Jesus entrusts his mother to John. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there, whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home.
Lord Jesus, thank you for your ultimate gift to us before you died on the cross. You gave us your own mother Mary as our mother. By your will, Mary becomes our spiritual mother. She helps us in this life and helps us especially at the hour of death. Today, let us also feel Mary's pain and compassion echoed in the hearts of women who grieve the loss of their loved ones. Lord, touch our hearts with Mary's deep sorrow at your death and help us to love and reverence her as you did. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. By the cross of my salvation, one with you in reparation, maybe all my sins forgive. Twelfth Station Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the view of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I command my spirit. And when he had said these, he breathed his last. The nightmare of pain and suffering has come to an end, Lord, as you commend your spirit to the Father and expire. From the height of the cross where we find salvation, you draw everyone to yourself. Lord, as you died on the cross for us, give us the strength and the spirit of commitment to live for you have mercy on us O lord have mercy on us virgin of the saints exceeding be not of my prayers unheeding. Let me share with you your grief. 13th Station Jesus is buried on the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Now there was a virtuous and righteous man named Joseph, who, though he was a member of the council, had not consented to their plan of action. He came from the Jewish town of Arimathea and was awaiting the kingdom of God. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. 
After he had taken the body down, he wrapped it in a linen cloth and laid him in a rock-hewn tomb in which no one had yet been buried. Eight years old. She is in school and has made friends in her town. Her grandmother worries about her future. وهاي ملاك يعني انتم شفتوها تريد ايلتي ما يريد يريد مستقبل ويضمن لي يعني حاجه يعني زينه وابوها وماماها راحوا توفوا لا اخ كبير ضلت بس هي وانا ما ضل دايم لها هم راح تكبر وتعرف انت Lord thank you for your love for all of us and grant us the grace to be able to love the way you love up to laying down your life Lord, give us a share of your compassion and in your goodness, raise us up buried with you in baptism to be one with you in the eternal life of heaven. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Be his wounds my consolation, be his passion my salvation, be his dying my belief. 14th Station Jesus rises from the dead. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. At daybreak on the first day of the week, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were puzzling over this, behold, two men in dazzling garments appeared to them. They were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. They said to them, why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but he has been raised. Lord, your resurrection reminds us that all suffering and pain is worthwhile and somehow makes sense. It reminds us that each human being has been redeemed by you out of love. It reminds us that our lives must be patterned after your own life, so that by following you in pain, we may also follow you in glory. Lord Jesus, your resurrection gives us great hope and joy. Let us bring the good news to those who feel hopeless. By your glorious resurrection, make us all Easter Christians aware of your promise that we too shall rise and live with you forever. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Rise, my Lord, in my last hour. One step through your mother's power. I may conquer every sin. When my soul and body safer, may I live with you forever to your glory entering in. Amen. 
brothers and sisters, we were blessed already when um, God created us. God created us in his image. It is good enough. Even though we are a little bit you know, lower than angels, but it was already perfect, good enough for us. However, okay, for reasons we do not know, um, you know, sometimes when we read the Bible about the, um, for, uh, for breathing food, the uh, original scene and all this explanation, you may not feel, you know, satisfied with that because it is truly a mystery that, um, you know, such a good, such a, a good thing may turn bad. I mean, God is perfect. God's creation is lovely. How could it be possible to turn it bad? But the fact is, it is. It is bad. I mean, it's all around us. So um, no matter what, we are blessed in a sense that we, I mean, we, are, we, we Christians are blessed in a sense that God dies for us. But this is this is really another mystery that we will never be able to fully understand. We can only tell us that, tell ourselves that okay, because God loves us so much. In fact, God can simply, you know, give us up and create, you know, other human beings, other beings. Um, better than us, but he did not. He cherished us. He gave us opportunity after opportunities after opportunities. For example, before Jesus was betrayed, we have to remember the story he told us. He revealed to us what would happen at the end of the world. People are, you know, divided. It will be divided in two groups. One group, they are blessed. The other group, they were cursed. And then Jesus told us six exam questions. He has given us opportunity. He has, you know, told us beforehand God, what God wants from us. He didn't ask all of us to be baptized. So people who were not baptized could also be saved as long as they fulfill the six, maybe, well, not necessarily all six, maybe one or two of them, but no matter what, he has given us opportunities after opportunities. Look at what we are doing. I mean, what we have done, gone through this, uh, the, the stations of the cross. The number seven station mentioned about a very um, a good one, which is Simon. Okay. Jesus gave Simon the opportunity to share his burden. So if we are able to, if we have the strength, now remember that Simon at that moment might be very reluctant and he cursed the day, you know, for doing this dirty job. Yet it doesn't matter because he has done because he has lightened a little bit of Christ's passion. Simon was really a blessed person. So we can see that, you know, every day, God is giving us opportunities to become 
Simon, to take up the role of Simon. So he told us in Matthew chapter 25, the sixth work of uh, the one, we, we call that what, the uh, corporal work of mercy. Okay, the corporal works of mercy to feed the hungry, to give drinks to the thirsty, okay, to clothe the naked, to welcome and give shelter to the homeless, to take care of the sick, and to visit the prisoners. Of course, on the literal level, it is like this. But uh, we can see, I mean, other people who are hungry for other things, not necessarily food, spiritual food, food for thoughts, ignorance, and all these things, they want to remove them. There are people who are thirsty for something, but of course, I mean, nowadays we have a lot of addictions, which may not be, you know, good because those addictions will make you more and more thirsty. So can we think of ways to help our brothers and sisters to lighten up their thirst? Okay, naked? Yes, Jesus was stripped and was crucified. So he has already covered us cover us up with his nakedness to protect our privacy, to clothe us, to cover us so that we won't be scandalized. So brothers and sisters, we can also do the same. We do not spread any gossip. We have protect people's reputation and we keep secrets in order to protect the privacy, the dignity of people. So there are actually a lot, a lot we can do. And in fact, every day, we thank God, not just for a new day that we are alive, but we thank God for giving us another day to love, to serve him, to help the needy, because in doing so, we will be united with Jesus. If we, I mean, if yesterday we took part, I mean, in the, um, the liturgy uh, in, in our church, you can see that, I mean, Father Law showed us, you know, two pictures and to remind us that in service in serving the needy you will be able to discover jesus in sharing our life not simply ordinary sharing happiness but sharing our life just as what he did in the last supper we will be able to find jesus this is the spirit this is the advice this is the opportunities that God has been giving us. So we have to thank God for allowing us to meditate and, you know, go through the stations of the cross. Maybe one or two of them will inspire you, will, will move you, touch you. This is a sign of God's mercy. Maybe you will find some inspirations, maybe some consolation and the strength to go through your difficulties as well. Brothers and sisters, we still have to continue because at the moment, Jesus is very. We have to be patient and let our faith in his resurrection motivate us so that we can persevere to the end. And meanwhile, may our charity, our love be, you know, done so that we will be able to 
make good use of the opportunities that God gives us every day. God bless you all. So brothers and sisters, let us pray. Loving and merciful Lord, we thank you for having us carry our cross and journeying with us in our daily trials and tribulations. In these difficult and painful times, you continue to assure us of your loving presence. In your victorious resurrection, you have given us hope and strength. May we always open ourselves to participate in the graces brought about by your passion, and death, and resurrection. For you are our Lord, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us um, follow the intentions of the Pope to pray for Ukraine, to pray for the end of the pandemic and to pay, pray for peace in you know all over the world without peace i mean the kingdom of god is difficult to actualize so let us pray our father in heaven holy be your name your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and Amen. ever shall be, well with our end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and serve and love the Lord. Behold the royal cross on high, resplendent. Yeah.